M0FXB, welcome to my channel. And here we are with the Yaesu FT81AND, which is the last and the newest model from this range. Of course, we know about the 817 and what a massive success it was. Now, what is the difference between the 818 and the 817? Well, it has a TXCO oscillator that you get for free, which has been built in. This one can transmit when it has a 13.8 volt supply, six watts. I know that the design underneath the cover has been improved to, you know, prevent RF leaking from one part of the radio to another. And this is the ND model. It also has the biggest battery that they offered, which is 1,900 milliamps. A lot of people are buying the Windcamp lithium battery, which has a separate charging connector so as we know it's completely portable vhf uhf six meter hf radio there is no tuner but it's the kind of radio where you can get a tuner very cheap or just bring an antenna that is cut the size i bought a tuner the other day it works great called an atu 100 and it's it was like 50 pounds and uh, and it's automatic it has a built-in battery and i will demonstrate it with this radio uh, but for now, I just want to let you know why I got it. Because uh, to be honest with you, I've been, you know, using ham radio for years. I've had 817s in the past. And since uh, using the newer radios, as you can see in the background, is the Zygu X6100 and the Icon 705. I thought, well, I'm never going to really want a Yaesu 817. But when they announced that they were discontinuing it, I thought, you know what? That's just such a fantastic radio. I just want to have one and use it and pick it up whenever I want. You know, I can chuck it in, my, in the leather case, hang it with a strap, chuck it in my car. Off I go doing HF six meters and all my local repeaters. And there, there are plenty of local repeaters and, and hubs link, linked to the All Star system uh, as you move around the country. So I just it, I couldn't really resist it. And I actually think that the, the, the uh, 818 is good value. Six hundred pounds. You think whoa, six hundred pounds. That is a lot of money. But it's actually not for what you get. You think about things like the Zygu. Um, that is a fantastic radio. And I highly recommend that as well. But in a different way. It's a different experience. Although you're talking to um, the HF. Really the HF bands is the Zygu. And the built-in tuner. That's really what you're paying for. And of course the waterfall. Beautiful colour scope screen. I mean I love using the Zygu. But I also really like using this. It's nice and simple. Plug it in. Once you've set it up. You know where the menus are. You can do CW. You can do HF. And um, very straightforward to add channels up and down through the bands, up and down through the modes, which they actually do on top, the top buttons with the, the Zygu as well. And a nice simple VFO knob, volume, squelch, channel change. Uh, so to me, it's just a no brainer to, you know, to, to really to have one. And I can also, I feel like I can compare it to other radios. As radios are released, I can compare it to the Zygu, the 705. Yesu's definitely going to bring out a QRP radio like the 705 and the Zygu because it's to me it's this this it's a very popular market. And if they've which they've now announced they've discontinued the 818, 817, well there's a big gap in their product line. So I know they said component shortages and maybe that has caused them difficulties to carry on building the the 818 but there's plenty of other components out there which they can use to build a lovely new 705 type radio i got a feeling it's 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 it has to look like you know if we grab the 705 it's going to look like these isn't it let me just turn them on and then show you it, coming back here it's going to look like these you know it's going to happen because the market is there and they are ham radio builders and of course, they they want to compete with these and the other radios that are going to come out like these. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And that's just my take on the 818. Get a new one because if you're going to keep it forever, you may as well. Get that new experience. Pay £150, £200 more. Get a new one and enjoy it. Or, or if you just want to have one but you only want to spend probably only around £300, get an old 817. So bye for now. 73, all the best.